Welcome everyone. In this video, we'll scratch the surface of the process called proof of work in computer science and cryptography. I'll also tell you why in my opinion, Homer is actual inventor of that process. No. Not this one. Yes. Him. First, the proof of work. The process is like a game or a puzzle that a computer can play to ensure everything's fine on a network. With Bitcoin, the system simply uses computers competing to solve complex mathematical problems. First one solving the problem gets to add a new set of transactions to the public ledger and is rewarded. This process is designed to secure the network and prevent fraud. Imagine a big treasure box that many people want to open and the only way to open it is to solve a really hard puzzle. First person who solves the puzzle gets to open the box and take the treasure inside. Similarly, with the proof of work used by Bitcoin, computers compete to solve a really difficult mathematical problem, first one to solve it gets the right to add a new block of information to the chain and gets rewarded for it. That's the proof of work. This way, the network can keep track of all the transactions made on it and make sure that no one's trying to cheat the system. And because the puzzle is so hard, it takes a lot of effort to solve and it's very difficult for one person or group of people to fool the system. Let's get back to the Greek mythology. In Homer's Odyssey, Penelope was the wife of Odysseus, aka Ulysses, his Latin variant. When Odysseus was away fighting in the Trojan War, Penelope was courted by many suitors during his absence. To delay her remarriage, Penelope comes up with a clever strategy, she tells them that she'll choose a husband once she finishes weaving a shroud for her father-in-law, but every night she undid her weaving so it would never be finished. Eventually, Odysseus returned home, proved his identity to Penelope, they were reunited and they lived happily ever after. Here are a few points of resemblance between what Penelope did with her weaving and the concept of proof of work as it is known in the context of computer science or cryptography in of the Bitcoin. 1. Both involve performing a specific task. In the story of Penelope, she was weaving. In the context of computer science and cryptography, proof of work involves performing a specific computational task, for instance solving a CAPTCHA or a puzzle. In the context of Bitcoin, Penelope's like the network, and the suitors are like the computers on the network, each trying to solve the complex mathematical problem and add new blocks to the chain. 2. Both require effort and time. Penelope had to spend a significant amount of time weaving and then unraveling her work. Similarly, solving a proof-of-work problem requires a significant amount of computational effort and time. 3. Both serve as a way to prove something. Penelope's weaving served proving her commitment and loyalty to her husband. Similarly, proof of work serves proving that a user is a human and not an automated program, and in the context of blockchain such as the one that Bitcoin relies upon, it serves as a way to prove that a miner added a block to the chain and has done the work. 4. Both have a goal to accomplish. Penelope had the goal of delaying her remarriage, and proof-of-work systems have the goal of securing the network and preventing certain types of attacks. 5. In both cases, the process is continually undone but serves the purpose of deterring others from taking advantage of the absence of the main protagonist in the story, Penelope, or the network. It also serves to validate the authenticity of the work done, Penelope's faithfulness to her husband or the validity of the transactions in the blockchain. In the context of Bitcoin, the mining process is continually undone in the sense that new blocks are continually added to the blockchain, the blocks themselves are difficult or practically impossible to change or undo once they've been added. That's what makes the blockchain secure and resistant to tampering. Obviously, Proof of work as known in context of computer science and cryptography differs from the illustration in the Greek mythology. Yet, the comparison remains interesting. Plus, now you get to brag about having met Penelope. That's it for today folks. If you like what we're doing, 
subscribe and share this video as it will help developing this channel.